Hi everybody, welcome back to my video blog. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I want to talk about spirituality today. And don't turn off the video because you think I'm here to preach Jesus, God, Buddha. I'm not here to preach anybody. First of all, what I mean by spirituality is simply you having a connection with your inner self, with your own spirituality. Or the other definitions that I really like to use sometimes. Paul Check, my teacher says, being a spiritual person is taking responsibility for all your actions. In other words, you don't blame anybody or anything if you're having a bad day, if you're feeling pain, if you're feeling hurt. It's all a result of your emotions, your feelings, and your thoughts and perception of the world and others. So, you know, you can change all that by shifting your perception. And um, we can talk more about that in another video blog. But today I want to talk about something that inspired me today. I was listening to a lecture of one of my favorite spiritual teachers, Michael uh, A. Singer. He wrote the, this book, The Surrender Experiment, and also another very famous book called The Untethered Soul, one of my very favorite books that I read a couple years ago, and I recommend to many of my clients who want to do some inspiring um, reading or learn more about doing inner work, the spiritual work. So another author that I really love, if you want more recommendations, is Pima Children. I have read every single one of her books, and a lot of times I reread them, I check my, uh, her quotes, incredible spiritual teacher. These people are teaching one of the most important works we can do on our lives, which is our inner work. What is our inner work? You know, there are many, many uh, definitions what inner work is, but my, the first one that I didn't even put on the board is know yourself. I have a lot of people that come to me here in the studio uh, in crisis and that's why they hire me to help them resolve their crisis that is creating a life um, that is out of balance a life that is bringing them emotional physical pain mental spiritual or they can't sleep because they have anxiety they depleted they tired they have no energy and I'm gonna give one definition to all these this, this examples I just mentioned. They are facing what I call a spiritual crisis. And when I say spiritual crisis, it basically means if you lose a sense of who you are, or you never spend time really knowing yourself. If you somebody, or you know somebody who has been living a life that is based on the beliefs or their mothers, their fathers, their teachers, their, um, you know, the society or the, their spouses, they're living a life out of alignment. And that creates a spiritual crisis. Another definition, in my opinion, of spiritual crisis, it's when we're living a life without purpose. When you're simply going to work, you don't like your work, you don't connect with your co-workers, and you're just in a a kind of a automatic, you know, mode in an autopilot and you're just going through the motions and you lose sense of happiness, you lose sense of like joy in life, that creates a spiritual crisis as well. So that's why the most important work is our inner work. Okay, it's finding the flow of energy inside you that inspires you, that actually energizes you. And when you're energized, you can change your life, you can change your community, you can change the world. How many people, when they fill up the paperwork here at the studio, and I go through their, you know, questions of like, what is your goal, what is your vision life? A lot of people say, I want to serve. I want to serve my family, I want to serve my community. And you must know, you're only going to serve at your highest levels if you're serving yourself first. It sounds selfish, and I might have people disagree with this, but you must do your inner work. In other words, you must spend time truly know yourself, truly knowing what you want, what your values are, what you stand for, and those things will energize you every single day so you can make a difference in other people's life. So 
I put four things, and this list can go much bigger in terms of inner work, but I want to summarize uh, what I mean by doing your inner work. So number one, again, I didn't write on the board, know yourself. Understand what your stressors are. Understand the situations in your life that might not be in alignment with the way you want to live. Understanding what's causing you unhappiness and what are the things you need to do more and what are the things you need to do less. So start becoming like a manager of your life as I talk in previous blogs. So then love yourself. That's a big one, right? A lot of people like are searching for love outside, searching for the perfect partner, searching all the love from, uh, you know, from a partner. And that creates a lot of unhappiness because you must find the love inside yourself. I want you to be able to look at the mirror and say, I am amazing. I have incredible gifts to share with the, wor with the world. And you do. I am a unique person. And um, I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to shine today. That's loving yourself. Another form of loving yourself. It's some part of your body talking to you. You're in pain. You have a condition. Love that part of your body. Speak to your body through your meditations. What is your body trying to tell? What is your pain trying to tell you? Compassion for yourself. That's loving yourself. And of course, taking actions also. Moving your body every day. Eating healthy foods. Spending time with people who uplift you and so on. So that's loving yourself. Be friends with your pain. That is a major part of your inner work. If something is causing pain in your life, something that happened in the past in childhood or something that is happening right now with your spouse or, you know, any other source causing you pain, look at the pain and see with the pain. Because this is the problem if you shut down from the pain you don't want to feel. If you shut down, you don't shut down just your ability to feel the pain, but you shut down your ability to have compassion, love for others. You shut down your ability to receive love. When you shut down, you basically put a wall in front of you and you stop experiencing all the beauty in this world. You're gonna might have moments of joy maybe temporarily and you might find joy because you bought a new car, find joy because you bought a new house, but all those joy, joyful moments we know are temporary. So I want you to feel joy within joy with yourself. So don't shut down from your pain. You must sit with your pain and understand it. Now, I'm not saying sit with your pain and stay there. No, sit with your pain, understand, detach from it, find what's going to ha help you to let the pain go and you can experience joy. So, and that leads to the third one, stay open to the process. I mean by that is any processes happen in your life right now, stay open. And it's easy to do that, of course, when everything is great, when people are nice to you, everybody's showing you love. But are you able to stay open when things get hard? When somebody says something that is hurtful to you, when your lover leaves you, when you hear a truth that hurts, can you stay open? That is being a spiritual person. Keep your heart open in the moments of chan, the moments of pain. Stay open because the process is teaching you something. So keep your heart, heart open. Look at the situation with a growth mindset and you expand and actually um, experience more strength in your life. The, the, the last one is space for creative inspiration. I hear a lot of people saying, wow, I go through my day and it's all on willpower and I'm exhausted. Well, of course you are because willpower, it's limited. We need to save willpower from those moments we truly need it. Okay, those moments like those last couple hours that you have to work on that project, that last 30 minutes of your marathon, or when you're starting a new diet and you have to give up the bread, save the willpower for those moments. But willpower is not sustainable. It's not sustainable to resist things. So what do we do? We rely on our creative inspiration. And what is that? It's creating space, stillness. Create space just sitting and meditating and letting your automatic inspiration or your 
what Dr. Mautz, who wrote the, the psycho, cybernetics says, access your automatic success mechanisms, your creativity. Example of this is like if you go to bed at night and you try to find a, a solution for a problem, you let it go, you go to sleep, in the morning you go for your jog or for your walk and all of a sudden you had a brilliant idea that came from your creative inspiration, that comes from inner work, that comes from creating time in your day, creating space for yourself because you have self-love and allowing your inspiration to help you. That's all part of your inner work. We all know that people are doing too much these days, too busy, um, connect to the computer, to the phone all the time, so they're not accessing creative inspiration. So that needs to be part of your inner work. So again, your inner work is the most important work you can do to create happiness for yourself and help others to find happiness as well. Just thinking that if you're showing up with high levels of energy, joy, happiness, vitality, you're gonna affect every single person that is around you. And that's how you can change the world by first changing yourself. Thank you so much. If you love this video blog, please share and stay tuned with a brand new uh, course that I'm creating here uh, at the studio about mindset changes, which it creates deep, authentic change in your life. And I'm going to cover a lot of this um, inner, inner work here that I mentioned today. So stay tuned. It's going to be um, a whole day uh, lecture and it's going to be hands-on, lots of exercise, lot, lots of interaction. And um, it's for everybody who is trying to create changes in their lives and it's struggling um, with the results. The results are not there. And I'm going to talk about how to truly create those results. So thank you so much and have a great day.